In this video, we're going over the top five problems in this fifth generation Chrysler town and country. Now there's nothing wrong with this vehicle. There's nothing wrong with owning one or buying one. Every vehicle has their problems. These are the top five that we have found. Number one, the transmission. Now you may find some of the symptoms you see with the transmission while you're driving along. You have some harsh shifting or even some shuddering concerns that feels like you're driving over a rumble strip. Now, if you have any of these conditions, you're going to want to take it to a local dealer and have it checked out before you cause any more damage. It's a good idea to service the transmission regularly. Per the manual, it's recommended that you replace the fluid and filter every 120,000 miles. Because of the history of this transmission, I would recommend replacing it sooner. Number two, the rear EVAP lines. Now they're located right here, all along the side of the body underneath. And they go over the wheel well and to the back. And up above the muffler right here, where it goes into the evaporative core. The symptom you're going to find is your AC is not blowing as cold as it usually is. Somewhere in one of those lines is going to be a leak and that's going to cause the AC system not to have the correct pressure and it's not going to work as good as normal. Unfortunately, because most people don't have their own AC machine at home, you're probably going to have to bring it to a repair facility to have the work done. Number three, the window regulator and motor. The symptom you're going to find is your window doesn't work, whether it won't go down or it won't go up. You may hear stuff happening in the door while you're doing this, or you may not. Most of the time, it's just the window regulator or the motor itself. Number four, the oil filter adapter housing. And the housing's located right here in between the two heads below the intake. What you're going to find with this is some oil leaks coming from that. Now Chrysler has an updated housing, so if you find that you have a leak, you're going to want to get that updated housing so that you don't have any more oil leaks. Number five, the front sway bar links and bushings. Now the links are located right here on either side and the bushings go further back. You can access them from above here. And when those go bad, you're going to notice some rattling over bumps, mostly from one side or the other. They don't normally go at the exact same time, but it's always best to replace them in pairs. Another common problem with noise in the front suspension is the struts, so check those out as well. So those are our top five problems for this Chrysler Town & Country. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.